Hi everyone and welcome to this week's video. This week I'm turning a 3x11 figured maple bow blank that I picked up at my local Rockler store. And I'm using a faceplate to attach it. I know that I've said this a lot on this channel, but when I started this project, it, it was meant to go one way, went a different way. Um, and that was based on the green pattern that I found. So stick around and see why that happened. So right around 600 RPMs to true it up. Starting as usual with the Carter and Sun Bowl gouge. starting on the bottom of the bowl and the lathe is at around 850 RPM at this point. So I'm going to be uh, making a foot and a mortise. Checking out the grain. And then on to making the foot. I usually use a mortise uh, and a foot on bowls. I, I have made flat bottom bowls before. Um, honestly, I don't like reverse mounting it and taking off the tenon. Um, and sometimes I think a little lift on the bottom uh, makes the bowl look, you know, look good, at least in my opinion. But I guess it depends on the bowl. And now that I've established the mortise and the foot, I start working on the bottom and the side, taking off quite a bit of material. Between the bowl gouge and the skew chisel there. Stopping to check the progress. And coming at it from the other angle Quite a bit of material to remove, so trying to make that as efficient as possible. And there you can see I'm getting the curve on the bowl. And stopping to check the progress. Uh, I noticed a little tear out when I stopped there, so me showing you the tool there was meaning I just sharpened the tool. And for sharpening, I recently switched from a CBN wheel to the Robert Sorby Pro Edge. I will link that in the video description if you're interested. And on that note, Basically, all of the tools and products that I use in this video will be linked down below in the video description. So be sure to check them out. It's another way to support the channel. It doesn't cost you any more. And there are some sweet discounts there, too. There are discounts for Axe uh, Wood Turning Paste. There's discounts for Total Boat, Star Bond, Ariat. Uh, I, I know I'm forgetting one, but uh, check out all the discounts. It's on stuff that you'll probably get anyway. So why not save some money? We all like saving money. Have it reverse mounted here in the chuck 
and using the cotter and sun bowl gouge again to begin the hollowing process. I'm going for a simple profile on the bowl. The curve is a soft curve and looking for the rim to be pretty standard because I'm going to feature this bowl in a different way uh, than with the shape of the bowl. So I need the bowl to be itself to be simple. So that's what I'm going for. Hey, push pause for a minute. No, not right now. Don't wait till I'm done talking. But once you push pause, find the subscribe button and click it. Or, and or, find the thumbs up button. Give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it. It really helps support what I do and I would appreciate it. So go ahead and push pause now. Wait, not now. I want you to watch the video. Okay, now. Now that everyone has subscribed, thank you. I just resharpened the bowl gouge and it's cutting very well. Try not to take too much off. off. I don't want to uh, join the funnel club. Hopefully my membership expired. I was a member at one point not looking to join anytime soon. You can see how sharp the bowl gouge is with those little, little pieces flying off. And stopping to check the thickness of the bowl. Not quite down to where I need to be and the rim is still too wide, but I'm switching to the robust brand interior curved tool rest. This is one of those uh, things that I, when I bought it, I wish I had bought it sooner. It's actually cheaper right now than when I bought it. It's, it's for around 80 bucks on Amazon. I think I paid about a hundred. It is linked in the video description if you want to check it out. So again, taking very light passes, stopping to check very often. And checking the wall thickness again with the calipers. As you can see, I stop to check the wall thickness pretty often during this. So I'm looking at the bowl thinking, okay, it's like a light side and a dark side. Um, was considering what to do with that. And I really wasn't sure still at this point. So I gave it some thought and decided to use resin. Total boat two to one medium. And I'm doing a bit of an experiment with this. It is similar to fluid painting with acrylic paint but it's with resin and it's in a bowl and not on a canvas. I'm using four, well, three different colors. Uh, the fourth one goes in the Copper Penny 
to give it some uh, highlights, which you'll see in a minute. This Eye Candy 14 Carrot Nugget Gold has some sparkles added to it. And bear with me, don't go anywhere. This is not as bad as it looks. I end up doing this, but it, it's going to look different in the end. Uh, and you'll see why if you keep watching. So just stay with me. So like I said, it's a little bit like fluid painting, except with resin. And I know what you're thinking. She's making a mess. Yes, it is a mess. And it is also an experiment, and that's how you learn. So... I do have a end product that I think is okay. Um, I definitely learned a lot through this, and it's, it's not a piece that I would say was a bad experiment. I think it was a good experiment, and it's a one-of-a-kind piece. There's never, never going to be another bowl like this ever in the world. So it's a unique, unique piece. I like to always try things and put things together that don't normally go together to see what sort of artistic effects can happen. So this is my experiment, so you don't have to experiment. You can learn from this and uh, make your own version. So what I'm going for here is a circle in the middle of the bowl, a circle of resin that has a design in it. Um, it's going to be, this is still too big at this point, and it's still a, too proud. So I work on that piece, both with traditional tools and with some easy wood tools, negative rake. So still working on the resin piece. Very messy, as you know, and this is about the size it's going to be. Of course, you know, as I take resin off uh, because it was a little bit proud, the design changes a little bit, and that's for me at least kind of the fun of it. You get to see what's inside, what you created. And here you see me sanding. I sanded from 80 grit. Uh, to 400 grit on the wood and from 80 grit to 3000 on the resin and I wet sanded from 600 up on the resin And after it dried, I seal the whole thing with a mix of sanding sealer and denatured alcohol. Both of the kinds that I use are in the video description. And after the sealer uh, dried, I denib it with a scotch bright pad and start with the Axe abrasive paste. And this stuff really works to bring out the beauty, the natural beauty in the wood. It doesn't hide anything, it, it just brings out the natural beauty. Discount code for the Axe products in the video description.
I'll link to the Axe website as well. And you can already see this, this nice sheen starting and the Axe polishing paste uh, sort of brings everything together and gives it an amazing natural sheen. It's not too shiny, it, it's not too showy, it just brings out the natural beauty of the wood. And it's that easy to use. And yes, while this is sped up a little bit, it is, I didn't cut out anything. Uh, this is the only thing you need to do. And taking it off the lathe, and I'm gonna give some close up to the camera, but don't go anywhere. You can stick around for the beauty shots coming up. Just trying to get that glare out of there by turning off some lights above, but it didn't quite work. But some close ups, I'm pretty happy with it. Like I said, there won't be another one like this. And here are the beauty shots. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I do appreciate all the very honest comments. Some people say I hate it. Some people say I love it, uh, etc. So love it or hate it, let me know down below. And why, if you want to. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you come back next week. Don't forget to subscribe like and share and hit that bell icon to be notified when we upload new content and don't forget to look me up on instagram and facebook and now TikTok. i need to update my outro card until next week peace out